Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com. I'm the author of the book Aura Advantage, and today we're going to be using one of the exercises from the book so that you can see your own aura. You don't need anybody else to help you with this. This is something easy that you can do in just a few minutes of your own time. And it does help to have something like I've got here, which is basically a very plain background. So what you'll be doing is taking one of your hands and holding it out at about arm's length, which is very convenient because it's just the, as far as you can reach with your hand. So I'm not going to do that right now because if I do that it gets in the way. But if you imagine that you're holding your hand out at arm's length and you're looking at it and you've got this nice background, what I'd like you to do is focus in between two of the fingers. And instead, you can actually focus first on one finger and then fix the focal distance of your eye just in between. So you're looking at an imaginary point in space that's not really one of the fingers, but it's right in between. There's a reason for that. Actually, I'll explain in a minute. But this is what we're going to be doing. And when you focus in between there, you'll start to see um, between blinks, because if you blink, you're going to need to start all over again. But just for the period of time that you're just gazing with a soft, relaxed focus, you'll be able to see the energy around the fingertips. And if you feel like this isn't working or you didn't get it the first time, take a break. It also helps to rest your hand. Sometimes if you just want to be able to look for a while, you can rest your hand on something like an armrest. You can rest it on a table. And the other thing that helps it sometimes is just to massage your forehead and just close your eyes. Just do a gentle forehead um, and facial massage just around your eyes, your forehead. There is um, a pineal gland located. It's your third eye that you may have heard about. Actually, it does look a lot like an eye in some ways, but it's inside your forehead. And so we can just use the palm of your hand, rotate your hand in a circle, massaging the third eye. This serves a double purpose. It's going to help relax you. It also can help to stimulate and activate your third eye chakra. You have a mini chakra in the palm of your hand. So these are energy centers. What we're doing is working with the energy to see the energy. So again, just take, once you've done all that, you've done a nice massage, you're all relaxed. You can take another look. Put your hand out in front of you, and it doesn't really matter if you're looking at the palm of your hand or the back of your hand. It works the same either way, because what you're looking for is something that looks a little bit like a mirage, like when you're driving down a road and the asphalt's hot in front of you and you can see waves of heat coming off the road. It almost looks a little bit like that. And it might not look like there are lots of bright colors at first. That's okay. For your first time, you're just waiting to see if you can see anything at all. And the first time, it usually just looks like a little, um, little waves of energy that are just going around as if you traced your hand using a, a pen, just going around the edge like children do in kindergarten or in grade school. So that's what you're looking for. And if you can start feeling that you can see it there, um, then just keep staring. Sometimes you can see the colors starting to expand. You can see the energy moving out. So this is just one of many exercises to see your own aura and the aura of objects, plants, people, and douse energy around you that's mentioned in this book Aura Advantage, which is full of lots of meditations, and it talks about 10 things your aura does for you to help you attain your desires and attract success. So until next time, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com.